Hi, I'm Joni Patree, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, now I want to talk about something that I find so interesting because so many times I have people tell me, you know, always I notice in the month of October is the time when something bad happens or I get sick or I have other people say, you know, always around April is the time when I get opportunities and things go really well for me. So what I'm going to talk about now is going to make so much sense to you because you're, the light bulb's going to go off and you're going to say, that's why that time of year's always been my favorite, or that's why this time of year's always been my least favorite. Because what I'm going to talk about is the transit of the sun. You see, the sun consistently is in the same place every year, month by month. And when you put it all together as to when the sun is going through a good or a bad house, then you'll realize why you, why you prefer certain times of the year, why certain times of the year you get sick. Time after time, this is why. So before I begin, I always want to remind everyone to go to my website and sign up for my free newsletter. There you will get all of my predictions delivered to your email address. My website is galacticcenter.org. And while you're there, don't forget to check out my spiritual jewelry, malas and earrings. You'll be amazed. Now, one more thing. If you want to learn Vedic astrology, I have a stellar, amazing university, all online. Check it out, universityofvedicastrology.com. Now, let's get on with what time of year is the best time of year for you. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to know what your Vedic ascendant rising sign is. No, not your tropical western. I know so many of you think, oh, well, I'll just apply my western sign, my sun sign. No, this is not going to work. I want you to find your Vedic ascendant. So go to my website, go to my free calculator at galacticcenter.org and scroll down to the bottom where it explicitly says, this is your ascendant. This sign is your ascendant. This sign is your moon sign. Don't try to interpret uh, the Vedic charts because unless you know what you're doing, you're not gonna get it right. But at the bottom, it will tell you exactly what your rising sign is after you put all of your information in there. So let's start with when is the weakest time for you? When are you most likely to have no energy and therefore your immunities, your, your immune system is at its weakest, weakest point? So let me go over all 12 rising signs. And once you figure this out, you'll think back about your life and go, yeah, I remember. That's usually when I get the flu or that's usually when I don't feel great or my energy's the lowest. Because it is when the transiting sun goes into your eighth house. And realize every year the sun is in the same place. So every year it will be in your eighth house at the same time. Now the Vedic sun signs change signs around the 14th of every month. Whereas, you know, when you're talking about tropical uh, Western astrology, the signs change around the 20. 20th to the 21st. But in Vedic astrology, it changes on the 14th. Maybe sometimes it's the 15th or the 16th, but it's always relatively around the 14th of each month. So I'm going to be talking in terms of uh, from month to month from the 14th. So let's begin here. If your ascendant rising sign is Aries, then your weakest time is when the sun goes into Scorpio. And that time of year for Vedic tropic, I mean Vedic sidereal astrology is November 14th through December 14th. That's your weakest time if your rising sign is Aries. Now, if your rising sign is Taurus, then when the sun is in Sagittarius, 
it will be in your eighth house, which will deplete your energy and your life force. And that for you will be around December 14th, 15th to January 14th, 15th. If you're rising ascendant sign, remember the rising and the ascendant, same thing. If, if it is Gemini, then that's when the sun is in Capricorn. And when the sun is in Capricorn, that will be around January 14th through February 14th. And you know, I'm a Gemini ascendant, and I have to say that is always the time of year that I get a cold or a flu or something. And I always thought it was because of the Christmas holidays. I never realized it's because my son the, the transiting sun in the heavens was transiting through my eighth house. So if you're a Cancer ascendant or Logna rising sign, then when the sun is in Aquarius, that's going to be your weakest time of the year, which is February 14th through March 14th. Now, if your rising sign is Leo, then that's when the sun is in Pisces. When the sun is in Pisces, you're going to feel weaker. And that's going to be around March 14th to April 14th. Now, if your sun is in Virgo, your weakest time of the year will be when the sun is in Aries. And that time period will be April 14th till May 14th. Okay. If your rising sign is in Libra. That's going to be when the sun is in Taurus, and that is May 14th through June 14th. So if you're rising, your ascendant sign is Scorpio. Then when the sun is in Gemini is your weakest time, and that will be between June 14th till July 14th. If your rising sign is Sagittarius, then that will be when the sun is in Cancer, which is July 14th till August 14th. So if your rising sign, which is also the ascendant, is Capricorn, then when the sun is in Leo is going to be your weakest time, which is August 14th till September 14th. If your rising sign is in Aquarius, then when the sun is transiting in Virgo is your weakest time of the year, which will be uh, around September 14th to October 14th. And if your rising sign is Pisces, your weakest time of the year will be when the sun is in Libra. And that will be between October 14th and November 14th. So that covers the weakest times for the signs. But now I want to cover one of your strongest times of year. When is it when the sun is going to be transiting in your 10th house? And let me just say when the sun transits the 10th house, it's the best time for you to go job hunting, to change your career, to get great opportunities, to get promotions at work. But the sun in the 10th house is power because the 10th house is like the it's the point in the chart that is the highest. And I always say when the sun is in the 10th house, it casts no shadows. So look at when the sun is transiting in your 10th house. So let me go through all 12 of the ascendants, the rising signs, and you're going to figure out, and I know a lot of you are probably thinking, why is she not talking about the moon sign? Well, the ascendant is your physical body. So yes, I am talking about the rising sign specifically instead of the moon sign in this case. Okay. So the sun is the strongest in the 10th house. So if you're, if you're rising is Aries, then when the sun is in Capricorn, it is in your 10th house, which will be January 14th through February 14th. If you have a Taurus ascendant, then when the sun is in Aquarius, it is your strongest time of the year, which will be February 14th through March 14th. 
If your rising sign is Gemini, then your strongest time of year is when the sun is in Pisces, and that will be between March 14th and April 14th. Now, if your rising sign is Cancer, then that will be when the sun is in Aries is your strongest time. The sun is in Aries from April 14th to May 14th. Then if you have a Leo rising, then when the sun is in Taurus, it will be in your 10th house, which will be from May 14th to June 14th. Now, if your rising sign is Virgo, then your most powerful time of year is when the sun is in Gemini. It will be in your 10th house from June 14th to July 14th. So if your rising sign is Libra, then that means the sun must be in Cancer, which will be in your 10th house between July 14th and August 14th. And if your rising sign is Scorpio, then the sun being in Leo will be your most prominent time, it, that it will be in your 10th house. That will be August 14th through September 14th. And if your rising sign is Sagittarius, then when the sun is in Virgo, that's going to be your strongest time. And that will be from September 14th through October 14th. So if your rising sign is Capricorn, then your strongest time of year is when the sun is transiting in Libra, and that will be for you October 14th through November 14th. And if your rising sign is Aquarius, then this means that your strongest time of year will be when the sun's transiting in Scorpio, which will be November 14th through December 14th. And if you have a Pisces rising, when the sun transits in Sagittarius, that will be your time of strength. So for Pisces, it is December 15th through January 14th or 15th. So with that, you have for all 12 signs rising, what are your weakest times and what are your strongest times? So take that information, think about your past. It will all make sense why you enjoy certain times of year more than the others. <laughs> and let me just say, re always remember if you want more information on me, you can go to my website, sign up for my free newsletter, check out my jewelry, go to galacticcenter.org and check out my university website, which is universityofvedicastrology.com. Thank you.